Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabriella. In today's video, I will do a fall themed painting in watercolor pencils and I will try to explore the possibilities of woodless watercolor pencils to be specific. I only have one set of them, the Stedler Design Journey Pure Color set that only comes in 12 colors. Because I find the color selection a bit limiting, I will add a couple of colors from the regular Design Journey watercolor pencils as well but the focus of this video will be the woodless watercolor pencils. The reference picture was taken by my sister while hiking. She kindly sent it to me so that I can use it for an art project. Now that we are entering fall season, I feel very inspired to paint nature. Fall is my favorite season. I just can't get enough of all the beautiful colors. Drawing with watercolor pencils straight on the paper is probably the most convenient way to use them. This is my favorite technique. I love that I can just draw with them like I'm using regular colored pencils and that I can turn them into watercolor washes later on. We'll be painting foliage and this is only the base layer so I don't have to be too precise here. At this time I'm just trying to get some pigment everywhere and we'll pick it up from there. For this initial layer I try not to put down too much pigment as we'll be adding more and I also try not to layer too many colors on top of each other. While activating the pigment is super satisfying to do, try not to overwork the surface of the paper. I would also spare my best brushes from this technique. Scraping the paper too hard can damage both the brush and the paper surface and we're just getting started on this project. Normally I have dedicated brushes that I always use for activating watercolor pencils and crayons and I'm not too precious about the bristles. As for a paper, I would use any sturdy, surface size watercolor paper, preferably cellulose and cold press. There are cotton papers out there that can handle watercolor pencils well, but cellulose papers work just fine with watercolor pencils, and you won't feel too anxious about using up expensive paper, especially when you're just starting out. For the tree trunk, I'm combining the woodless pencils with the regular ones because for earth tones I literally only have one brown pencil in the set and I believe it's the dark ochre color but I'm not sure, there are no color names or numbers written on them. I mean, as long as we are applying them dry on the paper, there really is no difference between the two. Now that we have colored enough, it becomes necessary to sharpen some of the pencils, and here we can observe a major difference. 
The regular watercolor pencil shavings cannot be salvaged, so every time you have to sharpen them, you will inevitably shave off some of the core. The woodless watercolor pencils, on the other hand, can be sharpened over a palette and activated with water later on. That way, these pencils are actually zero waste. Or, if you simply need regular watercolor application in your work, you don't need to reach for your watercolors. You can simply dissolve some of the pencil cores in a palette. Right now, I need some watercolor paints to work on the foliage, and it would be cumbersome to only achieve it with dry application on paper. So for the second layer, I'm switching to a wet palette, much like I would use any other regular watercolor paints. You don't necessarily have to grate the pencil to tiny pieces first. I also like to take pigment straight off of the pencil with a wet brush. While this technique is not recommended with regular watercolor pencils as it can damage the wooden case, with woodless watercolor pencils there is nothing to worry about. All you have to pay attention to is not to make a mess with the paint dripping off the pencil. Sometimes I'll forget about it and before I know it, I have paint splattered all over my desk. After the second layer has dried, I go back to the dry application to draw the tree trunks in the background. I'm applying less pigment than I did for the one in the foreground, and I also mix in several colors to create a feeling of perspective. Some of the tree trunks are partially hidden behind the foliage, and I'm certainly not going to paint every single leaf, that is not necessary, especially for something in the background that's meant to be slightly blurred out anyway. To me, drawing nature, and especially trees, in watercolor pencils is incredibly satisfying. This is such a perfect cross between drawing and painting. I love how much richer it looks with the combination of wet washes and pencil marks. We still have a lot of paint left in the palette, so before I use any more dry application, I will try to use up some of it to create the mushrooms.
I'm going back and forth between the mushrooms and painting some more foliage, although at this point, in some places, I'm slowly reaching the point that I won't be able to add any more layers, because it just won't stick to the paper anymore. These are water-soluble wax pencils after all, and with such supplies there's always a limit as to how much you can build up layers. This is especially true with the tree in the front, where I have already laid down so much pigment that the only way that I can add some more is taking the pigment straight off of the pencil and applying it in a thicker consistency. The only thing left to do is to add some highlights. I will go with the Albert Durer Magnus pencils here because unfortunately the Stadler white is completely transparent. I could have used the white of the paper more, but to be honest, in my art, I prefer to add highlights with an opaque medium in the end. I'm also adding further details and darkening certain places with the watercolor pencils. From now on, we're using the pencils dry without activating them with water. And now, easily the most satisfying part, removing the masking tapes. This is what the finished piece looks like. I painted it over two days and it was worth every minute. I love how vibrant the colors are and I love the overall atmosphere. And never mind that I forgot to paint some of the mushroom stems in the picture, I completely forgot those. Let me know in the comments if this video was useful for you, also if you have any brand recommendations that I should try when it comes to woodless watercolor pencils, because I really only have these 12 pencils. There's still so much pigment left in the palette, and I really don't want to waste it, so I think I will soon use it up for another project, let's see. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching, take care, and see you next time. Bye!